Welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. And we're doing a little bit of bourbon hunting today. So usually when I do these videos, um, I try to do a little narration, kind of tell you the stores I'm going to. But today we're actually making a road trip up to our favorite liquor store. In Melrose, Minnesota called? Spirits Liquor. So it's about an hour drive, so we're heading up right now. And yeah, we're just gonna go see what we can find and we wanna go up there and, and kinda show you guys our favorite store that we love to shop at. Fun fact, we're actually driving home. We've already done it because you can see the bags in the back seat. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, you know, well, let's go with it. A it's little fine. inside baseball there, yeah. but yeah, we didn't film an intro on the way up, so we're doing it now. Anyway, check out uh, Spirits Liquor, Melrose, Minnesota. Here we go. Okay, so we've gotten footage of the shelves now, and now it's time to do some actual shopping. So, Greg's already got something. So far, I'm liking the strain of hands. All right, spoiler alert. We'll do a bottle haul at the end of the video here, but yeah, now it's time to start filling up the cart. So here's why this is our favorite liquor store. Well, among many reasons. We've got a ton of store picks and random cool stuff, but more stuff over here. This entire wall all the way down, and there's world-renowned bourbon reviewer and internet sensation Greg Welch. Hey, everybody. That's all bourbon. All the way down. And a couple of rise, too. But we're going to go through the shelves here and show you exactly what's... Uh, what's going on up there too you got some Penelope's there's a store pick of Penelope available Greg and I actually reviewed these J Henry which one do we have basic. kind of the, the regular yeah. basic one it's a Wisconsin distillery that's actually pretty good there's a couple more of those up there. We'll get some better shots of that. And I think we've done the regular Calumet small batch, haven't we? Is that the one we had? Yeah, the 15 and 8, yep. Okay. These Rebel products, they used to have just the basic one in Minnesota, and now they're getting more, which is kind of cool, because those are fairly cheap, but I've had the Rebel 100 and it's not bad for a kind of basic sipper. Never had this puncher's chance before. I always kind of wonder what that's all about. The NASA Family Reserve is really good. We had some Cat's Eye stuff here. Cat's Eye's doing some cool stuff. Never had this one. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever had this one. Some Garrison Brothers. If you watch this channel, you know Greg and I are not fans of the Garrison Brothers. Uh, 
or the balconus. Oh, here's that Claremont Steep. So this is a new American single malt from Jim Beam. Kind of interested in that. Problem is, I'm not maybe enough of an American single malt fan to warrant buying a bottle. I don't know. These are some Minnesota whiskeys. Kind of curious about these, but they're a little expensive as well, so. If you're a fan of barrel craft spirits, this is the place to go. Because they have a ton of them. Had some Iowa bourbons here. Still haven't had this one. We need to get a hold of a bottle of that. We might have to pick one up today. We'll see what goodies we find and spend our money on. You know, there's always a somewhat of a limit as to how much you can buy, right? I'm definitely interested in these. This is a local Minnesota distillery, but they just tend to run very expensive for single malt. Also interested in this one. This one is 75.5 ABV, so that's a banger. Dexter, I'm into that one. Here's another brand that Greg and I have had, but we've only had just the basic blenders cut here. But they've got some uh, some other expressions of that. I'm kind of interested in trying this Nelson Brothers, so. Didn't we hear that that's the name change from... From Bellmead. Bellmead. Yeah. And I've heard good and bad things about right. it. So I'm, it's kind of 50-50 as far as the reviews go. Yeah. Old Forester. We've never gotten into the pin hooks. Nope. We should try to avoid just because of our new grade. You, you said you try to avoid it because you've heard it's great? Maybe they have too many. Like, that's yeah. another $400 a month to spend. Yeah, that's a, a rabbit hole. Well, they probably got some, like, higher-end stuff and then maybe some basic stuff. Yeah. Um, I've had Border before. It was a long time ago, but I remember it not being bad. But that's a Wisconsin... Well, Border, I think, is uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota, if I remember correctly. And then these are obviously some Wisconsin stuff. These are Minnesota bourbons. Checking out the Four Roses single barrel. Also Minnesota, Keeper's Heart. And the one we had of that is really good. We've got a sample of that we need to get to. Never forget about the bottom shelf. Always got to check the bottom shelf. So we've got uh, which one is this cast strength limited edition. Oh, we did a review of this one. This is the Minnesota kind of like the statewide store pick or something. Here's a store pick, Doc Swinson's. So this representative and the senator, I don't really know much about these, but I think one of these just, well, here we go. Just won an award. I don't tend to place too much stock in that, but let's see what we got down here. Knob Creek 12. Oh, what do we got hiding back here? A little uh, Rima 6. Look at that. Yeah. That is something fun about spirits is 
Alyssa likes to hide fun bottles in amongst the bourbons for people to find. Some Grizzly Beast, we just had that recently. Here's a new expression from Peerless, the high ride. Nashville. And a bunch of old Elk Infinity blends. Those are good. We haven't had any of the Lucky Sevens. We'll have to try that at some point. And then some of these Doc Swinson's exploratory casks look pretty cool. A couple of new store picks. Here's the Heaven's Door 10 year bourbon. And then back here, I think there's a. That's a bourbon as well. Oh, here we go. This is the 10 year rye. I haven't had those. There's some uh, Henry McKenna's. 60 bucks, that's about the going rate in Minnesota. Two different 1792 foolproof store picks. 43 bucks, that's awesome. Oh, check this out. That's uh, from a different store, but on sale. So I might be taking one of those home. Um, well, probably a few things. Yeah. Did you get any footage of the yeah. the top area here? I'm just gonna do a quick pan of it, just for the heck of it. I can't quite reach and see. I also don't want to run into anything. So those proof and wood things. I can't remember what the story is with those, but they're like blends of like super aged whiskeys. Um, I can't remember who makes it, but I remember that was kind of something I had my eye on. They're a little expensive, but they are pretty cool. Speaking of pretty cool, let me zoom in here. That's a real old school Eagle Rare, 101 proof. Not for sale, display only, I've tried. <laughs> and then we've got uh, some of these too, these Sagamore Spirits. There's a couple of these that are a little different. Eight Year Rye. Rum Cask Finish. Got the double oak and then cask strength. So, if you're a fan of the Sagamore spirits, definitely want to swing up here because I don't think they have those in most of the other stores. But it just never ends, there's just bourbon everywhere.
Peerless Double Oak Rye. So, Isaac Bowman. We don't have the John J. Bowman in Minnesota, but we've got a couple of them. There's the Innkeeper's Blend. And we got some samples. So I'm having a sample of the uh, the Heaven's Door, and I've learned something new here. Bourbon tastes fantastic at 9:30 in the morning. So this one is kind of tempting. I do like the Remus stuff. This is number six, but at the hundred dollars or whatever they cost MSRP, it's kind of one of those ones. Do you keep getting them over and over? Um, this one looks kind of cool. I mean, it's fairly well aged but I don't know we'll see okay so I said before uh, sometimes Alyssa will take some bottles and just hide them on the shelves for fun people find them then you get a you know a good bottle score so we found the uh, there's a Remus 6 and a Buffalo Trace over there there's also I'm gonna flip the camera around Penelope Rosé cast back there And then, if you're looking for a 10-year bourbon, we have the Henry McKenna, but, well, look at that. Eagle Rare back there. Might have to bring this one home. Okay, so more hidden bottle action. Check this out. Well, that's nothing special, but check this out. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, Greg, yeah. Do you uh, do you have any interest in this? Yeah, uh, we should probably grab that one. <laughs> All right, that one's coming home with Greg, thankfully. <laughs> Let's get into the bottle haul because it's a pretty good one. Um, but before I get into that, just want to mention um, one of the other reasons why I like Spirit so much is they're a family-owned liquor store, and they still manage to you know get great bottles and put them out there at fair prices. You know they're not backed by you know being a municipal store and having money from the city or being part of a chain, and yet they still have fair prices and they, they hide good bottles out on the shelf and kind of make it fun, but they still charge MSRP for them. And then when they get their lotteries. Um, with their rare whiskeys, you know, a couple times a year. It's free to enter. You just stop in and put your name on a thing and, and that's it. So it's not about who spends the most money or anything like that. So that's just something I really appreciate when liquor stores do that. Um, starting off, I did need a, you know, kind of like a daily sipper, just a, a budget-friendly pour for, you know, just whatever um, standard cocktail mixer or just a, a decent, bam, neat pour, which JW Dant, this is a Heaven Hill product that I've had before, and I actually really like. It's bottled in bond, but it's like $16. If you're a fan of Evan Williams bottled in bond, you'll probably like this one, and I do like Evan Williams bottled in bond, so I decided to pick this one up as just kind of a go-to, you know, that daily pour sort of thing. Um, did find a hidden gem. You probably saw this in the video, uh, Eagle Rare. So I had to pick that up. Eagle Rare is one that I usually, you know, I'll usually grab a bottle of that if I see it available. Um, it was 42 bucks. So anything under 50 for Eagle Rare is good for me. Um, next one, this one's gonna be interesting. This is uh, Doc Swinson's. This is one of the exploratory casks. And this is actually, it's called Funky Drummer. It's 105.3 proof. And it's a straight rye whiskey finished in Jamaican rum casks. And they had like three different of these exploratory cask ones. So I just grabbed one. I didn't really know anything about them. And I didn't even realize that this was a rye until I got home. So that's gonna be interesting because I've been told that rum finished ryes are really, really good. So super looking forward to that one. And I've never had a Doc Swinson's rye before. So uh, next one, let's get into, this is a store pick, bam. Heaven's Door, this is the uh, Spirits Liquor, 123.4 uh, proof got some information 77% corn 15% rye 8% malted barley distilled in Tennessee and it's the Kelvin Cooperage which I can't remember exactly what the deal with that is but there's something special about that Cooperage that people um, are into I think they there's some old-school way of charring barrels that they do that most Cooperages don't do anymore or something like that um, 
Sorry, I don't have all that information right now, but I've had a Heaven's Door store pick before and it was excellent. I sampled this one up at the store and it's really, really good. So I had to buy a bottle of that. So next one, got two of these. This is, bam, uh, Stranahan's single barrel cask strength store pick. This one happens to be um, a pick from another store, uh, Shorewood Liquor, and I'm assuming this is because uh, maybe it was last summer, maybe before, maybe last spring or something like that. Um, Shoreward unfortunately flooded, and so they had to shut down their doors. I'm not sure if they're even open yet. They've been closed for maybe even two years now. Um, so I'm assuming that's where she got the store pick, picked it up off of them after their, their store had to close its doors for a little while. So super excited to get into this one. Paid 30 bucks for this, which is ridiculous because the normal Stranahan's that's aged like two or three years, and is that like 90 proof or something like that? I mean, that one's usually like 40. And so she had a great sale on this. This is a five and a half, or five years, 10 months, 120. And like I said, I got two of these. Uh, picked up one for a friend who also happens to have a bourbon channel or a whiskey channel, a tipsy whiskey shenanigans sort of channel. So yeah, look out for a possible review of this on tipsy whiskey shenanigans and go like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the things. So yeah, this is the bottle haul for me. And then Greg got a couple of bottles too. I'll throw a picture on the screen here. As you saw in the video, he did pick up a Joseph Magnus cigar blend and he got the Stranahan's sherry cask finish and a 375 of the Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof. So, all right, well, that's it. That was our bourbon hunting at Spirits Liquor in Melrose, Minnesota. Definitely make it a point to stop in there if you're ever in the area. It's totally worth it. Make it a tourist destination on your way up north. Cheers.